people are recognizing the river again uh, and seeing that it does have possibilities for, um, for recreation. The museum's mission here is twofold. One of those is to focus on the Green River. Uh, one of the reasons we chose to do that is because the river had everything to do with everything in the history of this county. When this was first settled as part of the frontier, uh, it was a, a river very difficult to navigate. There were parts that were so deep you couldn't find the bottom. There were other parts so shallow you could literally walk across it. So um, when the locks and dams were put in in the 1830s, that allowed the river to be navigable for the first time. And uh, that sort of initiated eventually the steamboat era and there were all sorts of boats that came up and down this river. Uh, one called the Bowling Green, another called the Evansville, were, are probably the two best known that uh, we hear about today, but there were scores of other boats, uh, and then eventually show boats too, which came a little bit uh, later. Uh, it was a source of uh, financial well-being, it was a source of travel, it was a source of entertainment. Uh, everything was focused ar around the, uh, the river. Um, we try to, to convey that to people uh, today and it's just hard to imagine transportation uh, when you're sitting here today and it's so quiet and you don't see anything coming up and down the river except an occasional limb, you know. Um, so we, we try our best to educate folks today about what it was like in those days. Secondly, our mission here is about Butler County and about the history of this, of this place. But again, we wouldn't be here if the Green River hadn't been part of our, our county. If you go back early on, Woodbury uh, was organized uh, in the 1850s. It was incorporated in the 1850s, grew very quickly uh, because of the river system being here. Uh, it became a very bustling town that had um, a, a, a thriving Main Street and um, all the things that a small town in those days had. The office building here uh, at, uh, at Woodbury was built first. It was built in 1912 and the residents came one year later. Um, the office building held the superintendent's office and he hired two clerks, the federal clerks that worked with him. Uh, it was a, probably one of the nicest office buildings in, in Butler County at the time. So the federal government took good care of its employees here. Uh, the depression came along, the stock market crashed, and the bank closed here in Woodbury about the time that river traffic started to die. So it was the worst scenario it could possibly be for a little town like this. One by one businesses closed, um, houses started eventually to deteriorate. The, the historic houses that are still here are very valuable to us because they're so few. And unfortunately, uh, all of the um, storefronts on Main Street from the early days are gone now. They've all been since torn down. We have what's a remnant of the old hotel down here on the lower part of the bluff. Uh, that's it's kind of the last vestige of the commercial aspect of Woodbury. I almost think that it's too late for the dams themselves. I, I've just heard and I've seen newspaper articles where uh, the dams are like here at Woodbury. The remnant of the dam will eventually be taken out. What I hope is that they don't touch the locks. I mean, those are, are just uh, kind of marvels of technology and craftsmanship. They were built in the 18, late 1830s, early 1840s uh, out of these massive chunks of sandstone. And you'd look at those, you just can't imagine that men could have done that in those days. And um, there's all of a sudden, you know, there's interest and that's a good thing. When I was at Western, uh, I brought uh, friends down here all the time. We would wander through these buildings. Doors were wide open. Um, some of the windows were knocked out. Uh, and hoping that, you know, hoping someday that, that they would be restored. When the restoration process started, um, it made it pretty easy for us that the federal government supplied floor plans of the house from 1912 and 1913. So we have access to the original floor plans. Uh, it's, it's a restorationist dream. Uh, you don't have to have a lot of, you know, guesswork when you're looking at the floor plan and it's very, very easy to, to figure out. And I never dreamed that I'd get to be a part of that, which is, uh, pretty nice. It seems to be a trend uh, in, in Kentucky that a lot of these small towns are doing what they can to sort of bring back some sort of vitality. Um, there was a time, um, you know, when in even my lifetime, when our county seat, for instance, Morgantown, uh, all the storefronts on Main Street were, were open and uh, it's not that way anymore. So I think this generation, maybe it's taken the this uh, millennial generation to recognize that, you know, something needs to be 
done. I drive, you know, 35 minutes to work every day at, at South Union. But there's just something about this place. I love the environment of Woodbury. I mean, it, all you really got to do is look around at the natural setting, and it's a pretty appealing place to wake up in e each morning. Uh, it's very quiet like this most of the time. It, uh, it's just a good spot. And then I think, too, the family connection. I, I'm real um, family-oriented, and my, my roots are strong here, so I think that holds me in Woodbury too. I don't know if I'll always be here, but I'm sure content here now.